what is up rockers welcome back here to another video of rise of kingdoms in today's video we are going to talk about the five struggles of the free-to-play player so this jumpstart account that we have done in 2500 in kingdom 2500 we are playing as a free-to-play player as you can see we have not purchased anything not even gem supply we're not buying that as well not even this growth fund we're not doing that this is completely zero dollar that is going to be inputting into this account so there are definitely difficulties and struggles that we're experiencing i haven't played as a free-to-play for a very long time it's about two years ago maybe three now uh, but when i first played in k14 k41 i was you know pretty much starting as a free to play there but since then with my main account that hasn't been a free to play right so i will talk to you right now the struggles that i'm experiencing my name is shinchi42 if you find videos like this to help you to grow in rise of kingdoms consider subscribing turn your notification on and if you like the video if you find it helpful right consider pressing that like button everything does help out the analytics and you're also helping the next person that haven't seen or is looking for a video to help them to succeed in rise of kingdoms so press that like leave us a comment and those will help to be pushed to the new player so if you want to help other players you should definitely consider doing these actions all right So five struggles is a free to play when this jump start first thing that i want to talk about is resources now you might see i have a lot of resources here today that's because i have made a request and i've asked if i can get some gold and we've got players in here that you know donated to us so i want to give them a proper shout out to the players like luigi 007 or luigi 007 agrippa de roma we've talked about him in the previous video right lazy goose so these players they help me out in here today these are the whales of the server right and they are very kind and very generous to help me with a few resources now i was really just mainly looking for gold so i really appreciate that you know they've given me extra of the other resources in here that allows me to push into getting to my next research as you guys can see i have already unlocked my t3 for the infantry and now i'm trying to unlock the archer gang t3 so my goal right now is i'm really trying to push as much as i can and going for and um, try to get t4 right away so that's the main goal and unlocking as, as short as possible uh, my main uh, march is going to be infantry with this free-to-play setup so resources is definitely a big thing um as you can see it will take us 1.5 million of each it may seem low for majority of players where we've been playing this for a long time now but when you're you know starting out in the beginning it does uh become a challenge it is a grind and you really need to grind for it besides that you are also needing a lot of resources to upgrade majority of the buildings in here so it's definitely a struggle with resources you guys can see i'm farming right now as well so that's the number one issue as a free to play uh, remember there's a lot of resources that are needed to upgrade every single building to do your research and when you're first starting out especially as a free to play you don't really have the best commanders as well because you don't have the capability to get them and have access to them like for example um epic commanders you know per se since my vip is still low which i am going to be um you know speeding this vip up in here as well since my vip is still low i am not getting epic commander sculptures yet which isn't helping me to rank up joan of arc and trying to get up my other epic commanders in the right 
par. That's the first thing. Second thing I want to talk about is speed ups. All right. So resources and speed up kind of goes hand in hand. So I haven't really consumed all of this as well because I didn't have really much a lot of time to grind and collect all of this. I'm hoping Senpai would help me to collect all of that as well. That would grant us some resources, but not really enough to get into T4 yet um, with that. And of course, it will also grant me some speed ups, but not enough really for that so i'm trying to bank up as much as i can especially with the uh, training speed up because i want to use all of this when it comes to making a lot of t4 i'm trying to make sure that i don't make a lot of t1 or t2 or t3 the goal is getting into t4 so i've been trying to push as much as i can um you know i do have a decent amount of stack on the universal speed ups in here which i am using into you know the buildings so i have done that i think buildings in here as you can see i don't really have a lot of stack because i've been trying to push as much as i can so definitely one of the struggles in here is obtaining a lot of speed ups which i'm very fortunate enough that um, i am in an alliance that do spend money into the game which i want to highlight to you guys so last time um, in the previous video we got from agrippa which he had purchased a lot of uh, bundle i think it was seven bundles right now goose also have spent seven gold chest in here as well for us for us to collect so we're gonna go ahead and collect this as well from lazy goose all right this is really good because this allows me to have more speed ups, right? More speed ups help us to um, upgrade and progress faster. So let's go. Oh, wow. These. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, Goose. This is absolutely crazy, Goose. Oh, like that's hella speed ups for for a free to play damn and we got 200 gems as well goose my my gooseness my gooseness crazy oh my god i can't believe it i can't believe it that is so crazy oh my god i'm so hyped right now with that one i was just talking about how to struggle so speed ups but man when you're in an alliance perfect alliance you get so much speed ups oh my god that is crazy anyway moving on to the next topic in your legendary commander so another struggle right legendary commander we've talked about this previously so legendary commander is going to be definitely a struggle for us you know we're not going to um really have the ability to max out legendary commander as quick as we can on our main account so with legendary commander i need to be smart i'm gonna go for infantry god there was an update recently it was due to the um, holiday which is the thanksgiving and it allowed me to get about 15 legendary commander sculpture now i know it's not a lot but it's better than zero so it allows me to have some you know commanders in here so i'm not sure who is going to be the first infantry that i'm gonna be working on i think i will probably work on richard um once i am able to get richard from i think we probably will be getting yeah wheel of fortune i will definitely be spinning for richard and wheel of fortune and we do have some gems in here so we're getting ready so the struggle really is trying to get legendary commander we don't need to max the legendaries in here we can do a five five one one setup you're gonna see the struggle here in this account so make sure you tune in subscribe turn your notification on um with constants you can see that you know i'm trying to do my best to rank up constants in here we gotta get this um next you know um skill unlocked we gotta upgrade that skill so we can start getting these bonus i'm definitely gonna struggle on joan of it'll be a while but this one i unlock all three because we do get benefit on the you know farming ability in here um even trying to get you know sculptures for these blue commanders it's also still challenging so trying to rank up these is definitely uh, an issue so one thing that you can get more of those is really just by opening the chest in here so sometimes um, i have that ability to hoard things because on my main account i don't practically need them anymore so i hoard them but in this instance we probably shouldn't be hoarding them so what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be opening them all today. And um, let's see if we're going to get pretty lucky. Because we do need to start ranking up our gatherers. And again, this is a struggle. And especially with the gold keys, right? You don't want to be wasting all that opportunity for the legendary commanders as well. And as well as all the gatherer commanders in there. Because it will help you in your progression. So as a free to play, it's not advisable to really hoard things in here so wow um okay we've got something really good what do you guys think Ooh, we got nine of sun wow 
that's nice okay I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to open it yet but let's take a look in here so we're gonna be able to rank up some of the gad that are in here that's going to really help me out here with gathering so this one we're not going to purchase that unfortunately even though it looks amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and summon Ishida it's not like we're going to go and purchase we might as well go and summon Ragnar right it's not like we're gonna go and purchase now we've got more commanders in here that we can definitely use Belisarius this is another commander that we're gonna work on and then we have Queen Tamar of Georgia which is another gatherer that we can definitely use as well so now we can now work on Sarka so for Sarka what I would recommend is lock this make sure to get this max out first and hopefully we do get it in here so there we go maxed out and then now we're going to remove the lock and then all right more in here all right so this one boom great and then let's see Joan of Arc we got to make sure that we lock we lock the healing one and we focus on the farming farming one all right so boom we did not get the farming unfortunately no luck oh my goodness that's sad Gaius Marius all right um all right good Gaius Marius there we go great these are the things that you need to do as a free to play player all right the next thing is VIP I kind of briefly mentioned this earlier that I'm already VIP 6 you want to really push up into getting in uh, VIP 6 because you will get um, another build queue so you don't have to keep spending you know uh, gems in there I think it's 200 gems so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a speed up of this so what we need is what 200 so we'll just do 200 of that um, actually no there we go 120 there we go we reach VIP 6 all right great with VIP 6 it allows me to accumulate some of these elite commander sculpture that will allow me to upgrade my farmers I'm not going to rush this with VIP to get into VIP 7, even though I can get one epic sculpture because, like I said, I need to rank up my gatherers as well. Plus, I'm saving my gems for Wheel of Fortune. So minimum to get is go and get VIP 6. Allows you to gather faster as well as you can see in here. Gather speed 10%. Also, building speed and really that second building queue is a permanent thing that is really great so vip 7 is great but we will get there uh, slowly but surely but i'm not really in a rush for it make sure that we do the um, daily quest in here to make sure that we are getting some grind and getting three um, commander sculpture i think before in the previous vip we do get two per day so as you increase your vip it does get better so with that being said that's the five difficulties that i'm experiencing here um, as a free to play everybody will probably experience different situations so for me you know these are the five things that i can think of at the very moment that what i'm having a difficulty so if you have some difficulties let us know in the comment section below what is the hardest thing that you are experiencing as a free to play um, and we can probably tackle that and make a video of that and see how we can help you to perform better in Rise of Kingdoms. With that being said, Rockers, thank you guys for watching. I will see you again next time.